Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise uh, to ask my colleagues to vote in the affirmative for Amendment A06110. Mr. Speaker, this is the amendment that I was referring to in my prior comments before we voted on the original uh, Marsico Amendment A05835. Mr. Speaker, the amendment is redrafted does a few simple things. Number one, it gives, it gives employers, we had talked earlier, so a, a number of folks had talked earlier about the fact that the level of THC in someone's blood is not a great indicator of whether or not they're intoxicated. And right now under current law, if an employee was found to have a certain level of THC in their blood under current law, by virtue of the fact that that, that, that drug is illegal, that employee could, could be given disciplinary, act, disciplinary action. They could be removed from work. That's not something that you seek to do to punish an employee. It's something you do to keep other employees safe. So if you're a bricklayer, and you, or if you're an electrician, or a plumber, or a carpenter, you do not want the people next to you under the influence, whether it's under the influence of alcohol, heroin, or marijuana. This amendment is not a for and against legalized medical marijuana. This amendment gives employers the ability to protect their employees. We heard earlier about how we could save lives with medical marijuana. Well, Mr. Speaker, if we do not vote Amendment A06110 into this bill, Mr. Speaker, we will be putting lives at risk. Mr. Speaker, we do not allow people to come to work intoxicated. It doesn't matter what the drug, it doesn't matter if it's a prescribed drug from a doctor, something you're taking legally, or something you're taking illegally. We need to provide these same protections for every employee in this state for medical marijuana if this bill is to become law. I strongly urge member support.